In this project, we will do an FSI analysis of airflow around an airfoil. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. The present problem simulates the airflow around an airfoil using the fluid solid interaction method in ANSYS Fluent Software. In this simulation, a circular computational domain of airflow is designed so that an airfoil is located in this area. Due to the fact that this airfoil is moving in the air with a considerable speed, the airflow collides with its body and exerts force on it. As a result, we can say that a two-way confrontation occurs between the fluid and the solid. Therefore, we use the FSI method in ANSYS Workbench software environment to model the deformation in airfoil. The present model is designed in three dimensions using design modeler software. The model includes a circular computational domain with a diameter of 4.8 meters and an airfoil inside this area. This computational area has only the inlet airflow and the lateral faces of this area have a symmetry condition. Now in the boundary condition section, if you click on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined as velocity inlet. By clicking on edit button, the new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. In the appeared window under the momentum tab, you can see in front of the coordinate system we have selected the Cartesian system and under the X and Y component of flow direction we have applied a UDF. Now this UDF file is sent to you with the rest of the files. You just have to click on user defined tab and then go over functions and then select compile. Then in the appeared window you just have to first click on add button and find the UDF file and then click on build then click on load so that the software will read and apply this UDF over the inlet boundary. Now, if you double click on methods button in the appeared part, you can see we have selected implicit formulation and ROEFTS flux type. Also, under the spatial discretization, you can select between different methods of equation discretization, like first order opend or second order opend, and etc. Now, if you double click on the controls button in the appeared part, uh, under the solution controls, you can see different values for current number and under relaxation factors. Now, the current number is a factor showing that how fast we are progressing in our simulation process. And for the problems with high nonlinearities, we should decrease this current number. Also, under the relaxation factors are factors that are used for different reasons. Uh, the main reason is that they are used to damp the fluctuation and errors in each of these parameters and that they can have different values that are between 0 and 1. However, it is highly recommend that you do not change them since it may result in divergence. There are two ways to check that your simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the 0, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. Now the next task is to set the needed boundary conditions. To do that, we can right click on transient and then go over insert and select from the list of different boundary conditions. Now if you click on the fluid solid interface, you can see the fall that is placed in the depth of our airfoil is selected as a boundary which has interaction with the fluid. Now if you click on the displacement condition, you can see that this condition is applied on two faces of the airfoil that are placed on two different sides. Also, 
we have determined that these two faces are free to move in x and y direction, but they are bound to not have any displacement in the z direction. Now in this slide, you can see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain at the last time step. Also, in order to extract another contour, you just have to click on variable and simply select another variable. For example, in this slide, we are going to select velocity and extract velocity contours. And in this slide, you can see the velocity contour at the last time step. And in this slide, you can see the deformation of the airfoil caused by the passage of the airflow over it. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.